All right, so in this video, we're gonna run through how to set the takeoff distance on the machine. Just, uh, you know, you've gotten it all out of the box. You've gotten it fully connected. I do have a video on that that I've shown earlier on getting the whole unit connected with the keypad and the smart box and making sure everything is, is tied together. Uh, so for this video, I've put it up on the bench top just because it's kind of easier for me to set up and show you the, the effect of the takeoff distance and how to set it up properly. Uh, so first things first, I set myself up a little um, name tag uh, job file in a sense. Kind of just put part number, serial number, and then a date code. That'll give me the Julian date code and then the hours and the month based on the machine itself, kind of how it's set up. Uh, it's just a nice touch so you don't have to it's it's not a manual date code you don't have to put it in each time you can uh you can utilize the machine to show it for you so let's say we wanted to just do a, a standard name tag and get it set up uh on the system so if you look at this right now just manually i'm pretty far away from this uh let's let's zoom in here i'm pretty far away from the actual head itself so if you look right here it's a good distance. If you use the takeoff tool that comes with the machine, you can see that you're you're a pretty good distance away. Now, when you adjust it, you want to bring the unit down so that it's just about touching the takeoff tool. If you want to make your own standoff tool, takeoff gauge, standoff gauge, whatever you want to call it, um, you can create your own in the manual. Uh, we do have the recommended uh, takeoff distance. This kind of represents just the midpoint in that takeoff distance. If you adjust your, uh, your pressure, obviously if you go lower pressure, you're gonna have to get closer. If you go higher pressure, you're gonna have to be more, for, uh, more away from the part just to allow it to clear. Uh, but kind of, if you're running at 90 PSI, uh, this tool right here is your midpoint, it's a good little Good little gauge just to kind of get you where you need to get. Um, so then you, you kind of roll down the machine until you get it to be just about touching. All right, I'm right here. I'm gonna back it off slightly. So right there. So as you can tell, I'm just barely touching the takeoff tool. I'm set up right on it. And that's that's how you set the, the standoff distance. Now, uh, one nice touch about uh, this system is if you hit the T button right here, it'll run the system without the air. So you can see the location on the tag that you're going to be uh, marking. So I like to do that just to get myself set up. Let's run it one more time. I got everything fitting within the tag plate. So now we're gonna go ahead and run it. And there we go. Just what we had drawn up. We have it now on the tag. Uh, nice, good sound. It's, it sounded clean. Um, it didn't have any sticking to it. If you have the sticking noise, you might be too close. If it gets really airy, like it's not really hitting the part, it could be too far away because the pin will, the pin's actually, you know, bottoming out on the bottom. So you want to make sure you're in, within that takeoff range. So you get the right impact with your, your part and get the best, uh, you know, deep, clean, uh, mark with the dot pin. All right. So uh, thank you for watching this video and uh, we'll go over uh, some other steps in, in some future videos.